You won't believe this, but today we're going to run a game on mobile that even high-end PCs struggle to handle. People spend thousands of dollars building gaming rigs just to play it with a powerful graphics card, but we're about to experience it right on a phone, and yes, it's completely possible now. This isn't cloud gaming. This is the real game, running offline, directly on your device. And that game is none other than your all-time favorite, Marvel Spider-Man. But before I show you the full setup, Let's quickly talk about the supported devices so you know whether your phone can handle it or not. To run this game smoothly, your device should have at least a benchmark score of around 8 lakh or higher. The minimum chip that can handle it is Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, but if you want truly playable performance, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is where the magic happens. You can even get up to 40 FPS in certain areas, especially indoors. This game also runs great on the Poco series, like the Poco F5 and F6, but the ultimate experience comes on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. As for RAM, you'll need at least 12 gigabytes to keep things smooth and stable. Many of my subscribers have already completed the entire game on their phones, and now it's your turn. So, let's dive in and get started. Let's go! So first of all, as you can clearly see, the game is fully playable, and just look at how incredibly smooth it's running. Every movement, every swing, every frame feels almost unreal on a mobile device. There's no stutter, no lag, nothing that breaks immersion. It feels just like playing on a high-end gaming PC. The textures are sharp, the lighting looks stunning, and the overall performance is unbelievably stable. You can move across the city, fight enemies, and explore freely, all without a single frame drop. It's crazy to think that a game of this scale, something that once required a powerful graphics card and a heavy desktop setup, is now running right here on a smartphone screen. This is where mobile gaming has reached, and what you're seeing right now is a perfect example of just how far technology has evolved. Captain Watanabe, did you take him down yet? No. We're at Fifth Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Mind if I join in on the fun? You know how your lawyers are. This one needs to go by the book. Come on, you scene. You got it. Almost there. Turn this way. Alright guys, first things first, we need to open Google and search for WinLater Ladashi. Once you find it, download and install the WinLater CMOD Ladashi version 2.6.1 on your mobile device. After the installation is done, launch the emulator. Once it's open, tap on the three dots at the top corner. This is where we'll tweak a few important settings to get the best performance possible. Inside that menu, look for the FEX Core option. This part is crucial because it determines how stable your game will run. From here, select and install version 2508 which has proven to be one of the most stable builds for the setup. Next, move over to the Adreno Tools section. This is where we'll handle the GPU drivers. To get the best visuals and smooth performance, we'll need the latest GPU driver. Just head over to Google and type Turnip Driver, and you'll find the most recent releases there. For this setup, I'm using the Turnip Driver 26 R2 version, which works perfectly with our configuration. Once you've downloaded it, simply add it to the emulator. Now, with all of that in place, it's time to head into the emulator's main settings, where we'll fine-tune everything for maximum performance and smooth gameplay. Now, the next step is to create a Box64 profile. This is what keeps the game running stable, just like you saw in the gameplay earlier. Remember how smooth it was? No lag, no stutter, nothing. That's all because of this profile. So go ahead and add a new profile, and make sure to follow the exact same settings I'm showing here. Each setting matters, and this precise configuration is what gives us the lag-free experience. Once that's done, it's time to add a new container. Inside this, you'll set the resolution according to your device's power. If you're using a high-end device, you can comfortably go for 720p or even 1080p for sharper visuals. But if your phone is mid or low-end, 
then stick to 800 by 600 or 960 by 544 these are the sweet spots for smooth performance now scroll down carefully because this part is extremely important under the wine version section make sure to select proton 9.0 arm 64 ec this specific version is what makes the game run flawlessly without any crashes or instability after that head over to the graphics driver section and make sure to apply the turnip driver you just updated earlier this step ensures that your gpu is running on the latest version for maximum performance once that's done move into the dxvk wrapper settings since this game runs on directx 12 we'll need to select the right versions for proper compatibility under vkd 3d choose version 2.14.1 and just below that set the vkd 3d feature level to 12 underscore 2 then for dxvk select version 2.3.1 this combination delivers smooth rendering and minimizes crashes during gameplay now head into the advanced settings tab here make sure that your box 64 profile the same one we created earlier is properly applied for the fax core stick to version 2508 as it's the most stable build for the setup in the tso mode choose fastest and under x87 mode select fast then scroll down to the startup selection area set it to aggressive and make sure all cpus are enabled this gives you the full processing power of your device for the best results and that's it congratulations you're now fully ready to play the game once it launches simply go into the in-game graphics settings and set everything to lowest for the first run this helps the emulator stabilize and load textures properly before you tweak performance or quality further now sit back launch the game and enjoy because what you're about to see is a full pc level experience running natively on your mobile device and just look at that, the game is running unbelievably smooth. No lag, no stutter, no frame drops. Every swing, every fight, every animation feels fluid, just like it should on a powerful gaming PC. But this time, it's all happening right on a mobile device. The responsiveness is instant, the visuals are clean, and even in heavy scenes, the performance stays rock solid. It's hard to believe that this is the same Marvel Spider-Man running natively on Android. No cloud streaming, no internet, completely offline. This setup proves how far emulation and optimization have come. With the right tweaks and proper drivers, you can now enjoy one of the most demanding PC titles right in your hands. So there it is, the full guide to making Spider-Man run flawlessly on your phone. If this worked for you, don't forget to share your gameplay results because this is just the beginning of what mobile gaming can truly achieve. Uh...